Hello and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make a low poly train like this one in Blender. Now you can do lots with this. You can um, animate it to go around in a track and uh, yeah, heaps of things to do with trains. Anyway, this was a requested tutorial so I thought I'd get around to it at some point. So just go ahead and open up Blender and I'll just reload the startup file and the first thing we're going to do as always is change this to cycles render delete the default actually no we're not going to delete the default cube this time we are going to delete the default lamp now to do the cube this cube is going to be used for the the base as shown here here the base that's what we're going to use the cube for so to do this, we're just going to scale it on the Z axis and then scale it on the Y axis. A bit bigger than that. There we go. The next step we're going to do is Shift A and we're going to add a cylinder with 16 vertices and a cap fill type of triangle fan. Now this is super important as um, this is what we're going to use to bulge our, uh, our, our cylinder. You'll see what I mean in a second. Now scale this on the y-axis something like that. Go into top view Zoom in, pan up. Wireframe mode, enter edit mode, out of wireframe mode. Make sure you're on face select mode. Hit A, then hit C, then select all the faces. Back into front view, uh, top view, we're going to hit E, click, E, click scale, E, click. E scale E scale E pull all the way out and that is how we did the bulging now I don't think I said that very clearly so I'm just going to undo that we're going to go through it slowly again Remember, we're going to go face select mode, select all our faces, go into top view, Y frame mode, zoom in, pull out. We're going to start off by hitting E, just clicking, then scaling a bit down, hit E to extrude, and pull out. E, click, E, scale. E to extrude, scale, pull, and that's how we do the bold like so. To get rid of that, we'll just make it a bit smaller. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is make our little cabin for our driver. To do this, we're going to get a cube, go into top view, scale it around that size. Just make this a bit smaller, sorry. Okay, now with our cube, we're going to scale it on the z axis. Bring it up a bit. How's that looking? That's a good height. Now to do the door, we go through a similar process. Go into front view, depending how you're. Uh, just face the back here. Enter edit mode, makes your face select modes on. Hit E, click. S to extrude, uh, scale, then you hit G, Z, 
then pull in with E. There we have our little doorway for our cabin officer. Very simple. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make the windows. Now, to do the windows, we're going to add another cube, scale it on the y-axis, bring it up over to R. Around there, make sure it's going through both places. Hit Shift D, move it to duplicate and move that across. There we go. So now we're going to go click on our big cube here, our cabin, and we're going to add a Boolean modifier, a different, and change the operation to difference, the object to cube. What cube is this one? That's cube two. That's cube three. Where's our cube? Two. Oh, sorry, not on there, on this. Add modifier, boolean, difference. This, this was working before. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's definitely the main cube you add. Boolean modifier difference. What cube is that? That's number two. two. Is it? Intersect, not difference. Sorry, my bad. Boolean intersect cube three apply delete. Now we have two windows for our driver. Finally got that right. Okay, now. One of the we've got the roof to do and our um, tracks, uh, like our wheels. They're not called wheels, though. Like trip, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The the discs. I show. We've got that. Those. We've got also the mechanism. So we've also got that to do, and that. Right, that. There we go. So we'll do the roof of our cabin now. To do this, we go add another cube. Um, from here, we go into back view or whatever, front view, whatever you have it set as. Bring it down a bit. Scaled on the y-axis. like so, select the top, zoom in, scale, scale, and click, scale, definitely pull this down, and pull that forward. That's looking good. Really liking the roof here. Here. Now the last thing is the mechanism and the wheels. For the wheels, very simple. Cylinder rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees. Scale them down. Thin them out like small discs. Pull scale up a tiny bit. We across, pop, and shift D to select both of them and duplicate them. There we go. Last thing to do is the mechanism, and you guessed it, we're going to add another cylinder, rotate it on the Y axis 90 degrees, then the Z axis 90 degrees bring it forward like so 
scale the pipe down quite a bit. Scale on the XY axis. Okay, that seems good. Now we're going to rotate it something like that. Bring it forward. Shift D, move it across to our other ones, like so. And the last thing is the rest of our mechanism is just another cylinder rotated on the X axis. Oh no. Oh yeah. Well, with the Y axis, 90 degrees. Let me make a small cylinder. We move it across to like a point there. Scale it down a bit. Shift D. Move it across. Okay. Yep, like so. Shift D to that, move it across and up. Shift D and then move it across. Okay. And uh, that's done. Oh, wait, we forgot the funnel pop down across. Now to make the top like a hole, we select C, E clicks, scale, E, push down. And the smoke is just an icosphere that you can position by yourself. But that's the uh, modeling process I went through to make a low poly train in Blender. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.